It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Uh, my man Andrew Schultz is not here this week, but uh, Doodoo Herm is here. Big Wax. Yo. Uh, NYLA is here. Nyla's here. And ROG, T to the motherfucking K. Yeah, TK Kirkland, world renowned philosopher. Yes, sir. I don't even call him a comedian. I think comed- <laughs> I don't think comedian is a strong enough word for what TK brings to the table. Oh, thank yeah. you, my man. Thank you so much. It's, a good, um, it's, good, it's good to be here. To- Amongst good people, good energy. What's the energy feel like in this room? I saw you observing some things when you... Uh... Yeah, I'm always observing. I always watch women. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. When I see her, I, I, the, 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 I could look at a female, understand her growth, who raised her. Okay. Um, her ability, the, the how the function of the world. Um, can you say something to a person without confrontation? Yeah. Or do you, are you going to have confrontation? Is it worth saying something so it don't lead to an argument? That's the ability of... Uh, when you have life experiences, you can you can pick that up. A like lot of that. people don't know how to navigate that. And that's why they get in trouble. That's so true. You know what I mean? Yes. Because you can't be one way with everybody. No, you can't. I totally agree with you on what you're saying. Sometimes occasion. you just got to shut up. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got to <laughs> shut don't know up. Nothing. Yeah. Right. And just fall back because you see what it is. You see where it could go. But that, you know, there's years of experience, too. When the last time you had to do that, TK, you think? Um... Well, I travel so much, I always have to watch people. But what I do to protect me is I go to bed early so I can be well rested, so I don't get irritated. Because mm. I'm a man of um, etiquette, and what I mean by etiquette, I respect everything. When I'm in the elevator, I believe you got you got to respect the person's space. Mm-hmm. When you're on the plane, you got to. Re- There's certain things you don't do on the plane. Like I think even the way you walk in on the plane, when I mean, you sit down, you shouldn't be pulling back the the seat. If somebody's yes, sitting there, yes, yes. you got to go the opposite direction, yes. right? I don't think you should fall on the plane. Yeah, I mean... That's disrespectful. You in a yeah, cabin, yeah. it's a pressurized cabin. And a lot cabin. of white people do that. It's nasty. It's the And what what's about so crazy shit? about... Don't shit on the plane. Please yeah, don't. but here's the worst thing about it is to laugh, right? Yeah. Even when they fart, you take a deep breath in first, and then you say fart. So it's all in your lungs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you always go, oh, God damn it, they farted. <laughs> but you took a deep whiff of it. But yeah. you didn't mean to. You didn't mean to, yeah, but that's yeah, human yeah. nature. But, you, and, you know, so, and then I talk about, um, this is funny. Like, during the pandemic, I, I found that I'm a hater. And I didn't know that. Every, something happened to everybody in here to make you realize who you are. Yeah, because the pandemic made all of us right. be still, and we saw each other for right. the first time. We saw you, a lot of us saw ourselves for the first time. Yes, and I pay for TSA and Clear, yeah, so I could walk past average people. That's what makes me feel successful, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> right? <laughs> like I walk past yeah. everybody. but yeah. when I get out of the car, I, I know it's all my around my peripheral vision. I see two big women walking, and as I get ready to go to Clear to put my eye in, I see these two big bitches in a wheelchair. Zoom in by me. No more TK. Well, I use it. (laughs) (laughs) Zoom in by me, right? Watch this. So I said, "Oh, not today." So when I get to the gate, I find out these females is on the same flight I'm on. Mm -hmm. So I talk to the ticket lady. I said, "Is there a supervisor in the area?" She said, "Sir, is there something wrong?" I said, "I'd rather not talk here. I'd rather talk down at gate nine because people are ear hustling." So the supervisor comes down and she's covering her titties because women with big titties always, when they supervise, they always covering up their stuff, right? So I said, ma'am, listen, I'm a, a frequent flyer at Southwest Airlines and I fly you guys all the time. And the two big women in the wheelchair down at gate three, what? I said, them hoes can walk. And I want you to know. <laughs> and I'm tired of people taking advantage of the system. But you helped their life out though at the right. end of the day. No, because what, no, what, what happened is the supervisor went back to the two people in the wheelchair and told mm-hmm. them everything I said because they on her buddy pass. Yeah. So on the whole ah. flight, they calling me snitch. <laughs> snitch. <laughs> it's snitch. So I lured them in good, didn't I? I zoomed you in. TK, yeah. you too fly for Southwest. No, no, no. I will fly Southwest. I fly Southwest and Spirit. When Why? I'm Why are you taking this a type of fear factor challenges in the sky? Watch this. Exactly. I fly so much that sometimes I forget that I have a show. And sometimes I got to catch the flight at the last minute. Yeah. And I'm a fan of Spirit. I caught a flight. Spirit, I've never heard that in my life. Watch this. Spirit got me to where I needed to go for $11, dog. Yeah. <laughs> 
$11 at the big seat. And when you close your eyes, 50,000 feet in the sky, it feels just like Delta. Matter of fact, it feels like a private airline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah, but, juice but, you, your eyes. but you get what you pay for with Spirit. They'll cancel your flight. I've never not had that problem. Your money. No, what you're saying is absolutely right. Yeah. I've never had I don't fly them all the time, yeah. but I will fly them if I have to. Damn. I have to. Yeah, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not against... Um, I don't want to be too big that I can't fly certain airlines because yeah, sometimes I, I got to get there where I got to go. Yeah. Well, you don't fly as much as me. Yeah. You know, I last year alone on Southwest, I flew 240 times. That was God the Southwest. Damn. That's a lot, That's not like me. Yeah, I'm, I'm every fucking week I'm flying. Yeah. You don't do Southwest though? You on JetBlue? No, I'm good with JetBlue. Yeah, yeah. but it, 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 and, and, and that's why I try to get my rest because being in my 60s, I got to take time to make sure that, I, you know, I, I'm well rested yes. and all that kind of stuff because it ain't a game. You know, so TK is 61, man. When I look at TK, certain people I look at in their sixties and I'm like, man, we got a long life to live. Yeah, man. you can take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. TK is 61, man. Yeah. I do like Less about stress. 40, 50 miles a week walking. Mm -hmm. So I do that and you know, I live good. But the best thing about living good to me is um one of my greatest moments is having my robe on, sipping on coffee with my weed blower in the backyard blowing the leaves. Off the patio, man, you can't tell me nothing, boy. <laughs> Listen to me. When I say that's one of the greatest moments of my life. Yeah. And to be in this area, um, back in the day, you know, back in the day when I when I had Rob Puffy back in the day. <laughs> and um I was fighting my case over there at um center, one center. Oh, he pressed charges? Yeah, he pressed charges, dog. Why well, didn't know he pressed charges? Yeah, he pressed charges. He was he was getting ready to take me all the way with that. And um Eric Von Zip, Haitian Jack, and him was trying to have a conversation with him about it. But he was really adamant about locking me up. But I had great attorneys at that time. And what they did what was, was the charge? Um, attempted grand larceny. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it was like $250,000 worth of jewelry at that time. But what people didn't really know, the jewelry never got taken. It was, um, it was just really phone calls. It was never... Like, I came there with a credit card. Mm -hmm. All this stuff was done over the phone. But the, the female who set it up, I never stitched on her. I took the weight by myself, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, what's and she at now? I don't know what she's doing. Is I haven't she, talked so to she her. So you don't even know she's grateful or not? Yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. And um, they had me here. They took me to Rikers Island. So I'm looking at this area, man, and just see where my life is right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, because they really wanted to put me away. Not because just the puffy case. They wanted me to do six years and the... Um, state prison here because of my past because New York has a predicate felon law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you catch a felony a year within another felony, you're considered a predicate and they call that mandatory sentence. Yeah. Mandatory. Yeah. So you got to do four to six and I was able to beat that one. I get, get wound up getting probation. So the drive, that when I, I when I was sitting here looking at all, I said, damn, my brother came a long way. He definitely did. You feel me? Because it could have totally did. been, totally been different. And that, and when I think about that, I think about Snoop, when we all was hanging back in the day, and he was up for murder, and to see him doing the halftime Super Bowl this right. weekend, yeah, yeah, like yeah. how and how he's on the Corona commercials and all that, it's just life's just amazing, man. That's the beauty of the process. That's the beauty of the process. Yeah. To see how Fifty got shot, and how he unturned stars in the Fifty, like he really running it. Yeah, he running it, yo. No, he does. I, I I say that all the time about Fifty Cent. That's why I like um. I like going places that don't have anything yet. Yes. You know what I mean? Like a lot of us like to run to these platforms that are already booming. Like yes. 50 went to a platform that needed all of the content the that man. he's been producing. Right. And now he's the motherfucking man. He the man, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He the mm -hmm. man. So um, it's just fascinating when you see these type of stories for people. I saw. Let, let's get into some us. Uh, uh, positively brilliant. We do a segment here at TK called Positively Brilliant. What a fucking idiot. Okay. So we asked the question, you know, what did you see this week that made you say that was positively brilliant? What a fucking idiot. Um, ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. Oh. I think that's, I think um, for him to have a situation to get her pregnant, to know and to, and to see um, Drake unfollow him and her because he has some that happened. Yeah, he yeah. unfollowed. He unfollowed them because of a certain emotions. 
and see all the, see what all, emotion would that be? That's a bitch. That's a female trait. I get tired of these young men with that female shit. Yeah. Like you know, like I don't understand men no more. Yeah, I just, not, I men, just men can be allowed to have hurt feelings. Not if you had a baby already. What do you mean? See, here's the thing. We all have feelings, right? And I talk about this all the time. You got to control your feelings. That's true. See, we all, everybody here gets jealous of somebody. Everybody here might hate somebody, right? But you control your emotions. And all of us got somebody, an ex-girl, where I'm getting married. And you're like, damn, bitch. You really going to marry that nigga? You know, but so you stay in control. I congratulate ASAP Rocky. I think that we we, we got to re rank the Harlem Power rankings when it comes to rappers now. ASAP got to be number one, right? But why? <laughs> because he got, got Rihanna pregnant. You, there's not a rapper out of Harlem that's done something that great. Oh, that's yeah. right. no, 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 not because of that. Because he beat his case when he was trying to kidnap his ass. Oh, that's in the past. No, no, Rihanna no, no, no. All of that. no, 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 no. That ain't that's as good it. as getting. No, no, no. Yeah, be, yeah, be I do first. care more about him getting Rihanna pregnant than I do. No, no, no. Word is wrong. Oh, See, you've never been to jail before. He don't. Yeah, he. Had listen to, to what I'm telling he you. He wouldn't have. Listen, I understand. He was in Spain. He was in yes, a whole other country. Gonna hold him. It was gonna take him. You know how you think about. You know how you drove through this city and you said to yourself, "Man, I did all of this shit," but you're looking at your life now, so all of that stuff don't even seem like nothing. Charlemagne, listen to what I'm telling you. He wasn't in America. Yeah. He was in another country, Don't and they was going to throw his ass under the jail. The jail wasn't that bad. He was in that same jail. <laughs> he was. No, for real. He was in the same one? Yeah. He was in the same jail that ASAP was in this week. Oh, okay. It really wasn't bad at all. He got really TV. Man, she was, I saw the picture. It looked like a little apartment. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like Goodfellas? It's like summer camp. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Man, don't, don't make I, it seem like it's cool, though. But, but, but no, no, it's not I don't know. Cool I, I, for some reason, <laughs> I can't believe him. What, what was the charge? Um, assaulting a public official. Punch yeah. the cop you over there. Cops, wow. Won't punch a cop in and America. And let you go? Control your emotions. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who you know? Control your emotions. I don't understand that. Okay. He hang out with a lot of white people. Okay. The got caught up. That got to do. He got caught up. <laughs> got caught up and forgot. He black. Right. In Puerto right. Rican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. People, that's what young men yeah. need to understand. When you yeah. start traveling, you better have your mind right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they not playing, brother. Yeah. 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 They not playing over there. But okay, so I can see what you're saying with that. But it's a the the one who really pulled off the the phenomenal move of the last 10 years is when I to me, when Nick Cannon got um homegirl Mariah Carey pregnant. Nah, ASAP got him, bro. I mean, that's a good one, too. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. That's, Jay, a, that's Jay, power Jay, ranking. That's a, great one. that's a good one. There's some hot ones out here. Jay, but, but see, you don't expect um, ASAP to pull Rihanna. Why? I don't know why. He, he, I just, I guess I never really follow him that much. I don't know his swag. You, you know him. I learned a long time ago, I don't sleep on nobody. That is so true. You know man. what I'm Damn, saying? Damn, you hit that right Cause on you, the Because Because I've seen some things in this business, man. I've seen these multi-millionaire executives who got these beautiful wives and that beautiful wife is getting smutted out by a rapper with one hit. You That's know what right. I'm saying? That's right. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know. That's I've so seen true. it. I've, yep. I've seen I, I'm thinking of one in particular right now, but right. I'm going to mind my business. Yes, sir. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's true. So I don't sleep on no. Yeah, body. anything is possible. Yeah, so congratulations. Anything to possible when you're a man. Anything is possible when you're because a man. Because there is a double standard to it. What you mean? Women don't have that same. Um, a woman that's not cosmetically right okay. can't get a good looking man. You'll never see it the other way around. Yo, is what I'm saying. She, she right. can smash though, but I see what you say. He probably might not gonna marry her. Like you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like right. you're not gonna wipe yeah, like a certain you, it, no. Unless it, you have low self-esteem. What do you mean? There's some men who's so insecure and they're handsome, yeah. they can't date another attractive person. So they date someone so below them. Really? I never thought that about they that. they deal with, that's who they deal with. Yeah. And when I travel and I see the strong guy with the yeah. big fat woman with the big ring. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you know, got the big <laughs> ring. I see it all the time. Mm -hmm. And in my journey in life, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that in my journey in life, I can tell the type of um, confidence <laughs> a man has mm -hmm. by the woman he's with. No, I always said that. I, you see it all the time. I always used to tell somebody in this room that yeah. But where do we rank ASAP for real in Harlem Power Thank rankings you. with rappers? I would number one. He number one, <laughs> right? One. Yeah, he's he number one. one. Who was number uh, one before? Was it Cam? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Cam Dayton? <laughs> Nobody, just as far as being a popping rapper. Wait, what? Who was number one in Harlem before ASAP? Cam. I don't think I don't think nobody. <laughs> yeah, Dipset. Yeah, yeah. Dipset, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy era. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, they had Harlem on lock. Yeah, on lock for a long Yeah, they time. sure did. This is, it's the same we all get know to see all this going out the window. It's well, crazy. We, we wish Rihanna a healthy uh, delivery. That's yeah. what we want. Yeah, That's what we want for Rihanna. That's all we want at the end of the day. Yeah. Like all that other goofy stuff they be doing online where they start talking about, oh, Drake's upset and Chris Brown and all right, this and that. Right. None of that got nothing to do with yeah. nothing. Why? We love the hate. Yes, we do. Like yeah. when we see something good yes. going on and we see two people actually happy and people announce something right. good, we can't wait yep, human to nature. shit on it. And we, we do it under the guise of jokes. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. But truthfully speaking, yeah. there's a lot of people out there that's yeah. like, you know what? I hope this does hurt Drake. You that's know what I'm saying? Is, uh, like, that's literally what they want. The, right, the, man, right. the man wins so much. It's like, I really do yeah. hope this hurts Drake. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. that's why he shouldn't have unfollowed them, though. I don't know if he did or not. No, that's with the headline. Oh, now, do y'all believe every headline you see? I'm just saying that. Was uh, it was trending. Yeah, yeah, it was trending. I don't know if and you know. And them. I really don't pay attention to that. So I get up at 3 30 in the morning, I start just going through stuff. Yeah. You know, I hate that I bother him 3 30. I know he look at me and say, like, What the fuck, TK? <laughs> <laughs> Do <Doing> all <laughs> so early in the morning. I know he like, TK, goddamn, can I go to sleep? What did we think about uh Whoopi Goldberg situation? Yeah, um, like I said earlier, and anybody that's listening, never discuss politics and religion yeah. with anybody. It's just a rule of thumb. You're going to lose yeah. every time because all you, all it takes is one wrong way of how you see it. Or you could be telling the truth. Yeah. yeah. And they don't know the facts. And they take it the wrong way. Now and you're done. Because if you don't own it, yeah. like wherever you, like say you were in the public place, like the young lady who talked about the young cop who got shot. And she's like, how are they going to block the streets? For a police officer that had a big funeral. Yeah. I don't remember that. actress. She lost a job. Yeah. She's on Twitter dis- disgusted about how the streets was blocked off. Yeah. And she was talking about how the cop probably didn't know um, what he was doing. He didn't know how to do his job. And they fired her ass. Yeah, I think the worst thing about the Whoopi situation is that she was just wrong. You know what I mean? Okay, yes. And I think when somebody's just wrong, you know, you can correct them, give them the right information. She apologized. Yeah, she apologized. You know, the head of the ADL, Jonathan Greenblatt, came on and corrected her and let her know the ho- the Holocaust was all about race. That's mm-hmm. literally all the Holocaust was about. Right, like, right. The, the Nazis thought that Jewish people were an inferior race. Right. That's it. Yep, that's like, so true. You, in, in the discussion. Yes. So, you know, once that happens, it's like, yo, what else do you want, you know, for, from an individual? I'm glad she did apologize because like, with the baby situation yeah, when he made happened. that comment, the next yeah. day he did not apologize. He, like, stood on what he said. At least Whoopi apologized. And also, I do think that Whoopi, like, I think her intentions weren't ill, like, in what she was saying. I don't think her intentions were malicious either, but I was, like I always tell y'all, you can't tell somebody how to react. That's so true. You know what I'm saying? And just because your intention is not malicious, just because your intention is not to offend, doesn't mean the person receiving it isn't receiving it as yeah, malicious. So isn't true. receiving yeah. it as offensive. And that's literally all you got to deal with. Because mm-hmm. I might, you know, I might walk in this room right now, somebody might slap me, and I'll be like, you know what? God bless you. Wish you the best. I'm sending you healing energy. Right. It's like, wax, wax ain't reacting like that. <laughs> right. You know what I'm right, saying? And right. guess what? However, whatever reaction you get, you earn that. That's yeah. so true. And you can't tell me how to react. Right. Yeah. That's the only thing I that, that's the only thing I find strange about this that's whole what, what, what conversation. Say, nigga, like some people might let you get away with that shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And but, some people won't. Understand. But but no, I don't think that all of them is malicious. I think they just want to say nigga like us, but it, it don't matter though. Matter. No, I'm with you. You're gonna get hit up. If right, that person right. says if yeah, that yeah, person yeah, says yeah, nigga, yeah. he cannot control the reaction. Of the next man. Of, of whoever is on the receiving end That's of that so nigga. That's so true, you right. do you understand what Whoopi was trying to say in that statement? No. Like, if she would have said it was about race, but I do also feel like the bigger issue is how we treat each other as humans. Well, that's, yeah, but that's a, a, a great, big, cliche yeah. conversation to have. Yes, it, life like would it. be great <laughs> if we all treated each other better as humans. Yes, right. we all should Martin spread love. Street. We should all spread yeah. peace, of course, but... That's that that statement is a non factor when you start off by saying the it's Holocaust not was yeah. not about race. Yeah, she fucked up at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. But remember, <laughs> like, you're supposed to, when you're on TV like that, you're supposed to stay away from that. Yeah. Too many examples over time. Yeah. That shows what happens to you when you discuss stuff like that. But and, I'm really upset because I didn't realize her last name was Goldberg. I mean, I knew her last name was Goldberg, but I didn't realize it's a Jewish last name. <laughs> no, that's the, that's and, what makes it hilarious, right? Yeah. I'm like, this is a very full circle moment. Know. But that's the irony of it, right? Yeah. Like she 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 changed her last name, or her mom told her to change her last name. Took the stage name. She didn't change her last name. She took the stage name Goldberg, okay, because she thought it would be 
easier to, to get on. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, I really hate that. That's wild. She's not the only person who did that, though. Who else? Who else did that? Um, a lot of people changed their name. I think it's like a Spanish woman. She wrote a book. Um, Jamie Foxx, like, that's, Fox, that's not his real name. Jamie Foxx, that's not his real name. What's his real name? I don't know. I forgot. That's not that's Jamie Foxx. Wow. Ben Diesel, that's not his real name. I Is guess, it? I guess no. that's not my real no, name. What's the, but oh. did they change it to a Jewish last name? Like, to change it to a whole different... What? I didn't know that's his real name. You what's didn't know what? Name? This, this is when you, you, see, you be forgetting you be around so much young people. Right, right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? To me, this is just nah, common information. People like, do not know that. Yes, people do know that. Y'all, Jamie, your generation don't know that. Then? I don't remember, but I know it ain't Jamie Foxx. Eric. Eric. Eric something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Whoopi got a name. black name. Whoopi name is like Catherine Johnson. <laughs> 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 I'm not even joking. It is. Uh, really? <laughs> what does it say that? Yeah. I would never call him never that. That's a fly yeah. stage name. Yeah. Eric Martin, what? Eric Martin. Wow. And the, the wild thing about Whoopi, they, they, I, I was reading that um, there's this is in the Jewish Chronicle at a charity event in 2016. She was like, I am. She was like, I'm, I am Jewish. And she was like, you know, I changed the name Goldberg for my heritage. I don't know what that means, but mm -hmm. that's what she said. And, right. And she, she had a connection to Israel and stuff like that. I don't know. And she said, and, and, and my thing with that was like, I wonder if she feels hurt because she has been supporting the community mm. for so long. Mm. You know what I mean? Let's talk about the real move, how Whoopi came on The View and now I'm running it. Yeah, she ain't running it that much. <laughs> she suspended for two weeks. That's so true, huh? And you know what's so crazy? <laughs> she still got a ball. Her, the president of ABC is a black woman. So the, the, the person who put out the statement and explained why they um, suspended mm. Whoopi is, 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 is a black woman. Yeah, they and, 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 and we have a tendency to make things e equal the way things are now. The world is really kind of sort of like got balanced. It is. You got to stay away from talking about things like that because it happens to Nick Cannon. Like anytime a person of color TK talks about... TK said it, religion yes, and politics. Yeah, anytime you do and that. we, we live in a school. world right now that's all people are discussing. Yes. Religion and politics. And you got to shut up. And you... <laughs> you got to shut up because it would lead to war. And you yeah. wonder why so much people get in trouble. I mean, it could lead to war. I mean, all you could do, I'm not going to get into it because it'll lead to war. Yeah. But they still fighting overseas over land. True. Because of religion. Then, yes. And then it's and then it's 100 a, years. And, and yeah. you see also, too, it's a tit for tat, right? Because you see people saying things like, oh, well, Whoopi needs to be fired because Roseanne got fired two years ago from mm. ABC when she spoke out against, when she said, when she had something negative to say about Michelle Obama. That's very true. But there's people that have not forgot that. Yeah. So when they see something like this happen, so they're not even really that offended by what right. Whoopi said. They just want to see blood so because they partner got, that's got, caught, in two weeks. got yeah. cut yeah. two, year, two in years two ago. Weeks, they, they, they might want to fire. They could find a way to fire her in a clause. No. They could probably pull off. Yeah. Think about but it. But I do think these type of conversations need to be had. What do you mean? Like, you know, like this Whoopi, go, not that it's a good situation, but to shine light on it and to like teach her like, no, that's wrong. Here's the thing about life, young lady. These things come up here and there throughout your journey. And all it comes down to is just conversation and talk, but never changes anybody. And the people who really need to hear it or not listen to the podcast or not mm -hmm. watch the TV mm -hmm. to hear it. So we go in a, a cycle in the, in the 60s. You have the same type of thing, the 70s, the 80s the 90s. But how you know they're not listening? Because we've made... A little progress, but not a lot, because I, I'm based on everything based on how old I am. And I've been here a lot longer than you. So true? and then and, and seeing back in my day, like you even speaking to me out of turn like that would be wrong because when elders speak, <laughs> how am I speaking watch, out of turn? watch what I'm about to tell you. When grand, I'm, I'm almost considered your grandfather in a sense. Mm -hmm. So when elders, that's what they call them, and like in Africa and everything, elders, when they usually talk. There was never no back and forth that was based on wisdom and knowledge what that person was speaking. No, we used to talk back, but we get smacked in our mouth. Got yeah. Yeah, quicker yeah, yeah, than a mug, yeah, yeah, right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. but this is different because... No, no, no. Listen to me. I'm, I'm here today in this world. I was just sharing something with you. I don't... Yeah. I don't even want... I do... Trust me. I've seen what we did in the other room. I know you can go tick for tat. I am. I don't have that kind of energy today. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Pull back down like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. I can know. She, I know she can get with it. <laughs> I've seen it, babe. I'm I, just, I, no, I'm good. Well, I think the talking out of turn thing was a little. Uh, now, and, and here's the thing: people around the world will even say I'm wrong because, like he said, our world it's is different. Norm. 
yes, compared to like, what the what what he just they'll text. Well, especially Dude. on podcasts. Listen to me, you're they will clown, <laughs> and, and they still going to clown. Oh yeah, you're right. This yeah. is a podcast. Well, it's a podcast. Especially, it's you're right. Go ahead. Now. But, <laughs> right. You're but right. here's the thing, though. Remember, I said earlier about everything I do in life is about etiquette. Uh huh. That's my world. See, I believe in opening the door but for. Let me is... finish. I believe in opening the door for you. <laughs> I believe in if I saw you somewhere now that we are friends, I would buy you a drink. I would I would treat you like a queen as a gentleman. That's the way I move. Hey, sister, you was with Charlemagne, right? Let me get that for you. See, it's all right then. Respect. You see, that's what I mean. You feel like you was talking out of turn? That's the way. No, I was going to ask, when was I talking out of turn? No, no, no. It was just that I, I cut you off. I didn't want you to get on the momentum because I wasn't finished my thought. That's all. That's selfish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's selfish. Yeah. <laughs> you questioning yourself. Yeah. I'm like, that but do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. See, it's okay when you're a gentleman, when you're doing things for the person. Mm -hmm. But I'm like this in everything in life. Yeah, you know that's just how I move. I got, and I understand it gets me irritated sometimes because um, the world has changed. Yeah, so sure. I have to have the ability to um, know when to fall back and be quiet because I'll get my feelings hurt or we'll be arguing more than what we really should because it's just two different worlds now. Can you, as an OG, listen to the younger generation? Could like if Nyla had something to explain to you, like a yeah, like that's the, the ability to, to, to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that we are in different times. Yeah. So in order to get through, I got to stay calm. Because, you know, my I don't do it too much to my daughter. My daughter will say things before we get to this thing that I have a voice. I want to say what I have to say. She's a very intelligent girl. And I think about that. You know, I never do. I say, I'm your father and you're going to listen to me. I never yeah. do any of my children like that, right? Mm -hmm. So I do understand that world of... um people 30, 40 years younger than me. You have to, the, 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 that, that strictness, that respect thing is gone. So you really just have to um, yeah. the bite your tongue. The not gone though. Because I definitely can appreciate men with a moral code. And a lot of older men have moral code. Yes. Less and less younger men have a moral yes, code. That's so, so I true. think that's something that should, still should be taught. But the thing with, I guess, older people's moral code that's problematic is like the misogyny in it. Like talking out of turn, telling a woman she's talking out of turn is kind of offensive. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Well, not to me, but then um, <laughs> <Literally. laughs> not to me. If you're about yeah, you wouldn't want to offend the yeah, woman. Yeah, but I'm I'm a different. That's wheezy in the background. Give me an example. Like just how now. men today would talk about. Yeah, get on the mic. Weezy. How men today would talk about money transactions in front of a female. Yeah. I mean, yeah, in see, the, no, the way, no, let me finish, let me finish, before we and get, then tell a woman she's out of turn, but, that's not necessarily, but I already know, it's, and I'm going to share to you my, my, my energy, see, even with the energy that you're projecting, even with the eye contact, I'm and, just matching it, let me finish, watch what I'm about to say, I don't even want to go toe to toe with you either, because I observed you for the last hour, so I already know where that energy is going to go, so I want to stay focused on, and I feel you, I've, I've observed some of your YouTube yes. comments about me as well, I just want to stay focused for one oh, second, oh, y'all had comments? No, that's not really him on YouTube. So what is that? That's a parody account. <laughs> yeah. You, you're telling me TK Kirkland talking shit? We was talking girls? about that earlier today. Like, I meant to say that. That's not him. That's, that's not a parody account. <laughs> Now, <laughs> that's why this, now I get no, it. Now I understand it too, because he kind of sound like you sound right now. No, so let me tell you what has going on. <laughs> no, this is a party account. I'm glad that this came up because I wanted to talk Amazing. about it on the Breakfast Club. <laughs> There's oh, a is there somebody acting like they're me. Yes, yeah. he sound like you. I Listen knew that. You know what's so funny? I don't even think to ask you that because I know it's a parody account. This yes, a, and. It, I no, no, it's not me, man. But let me, but let me tell you now. Let me tell you why. But by now, let me tell you why it's not funny. Because some brothers you. called me up, some gang members. Oh my god! Because the boy says something that violated these guys. Yeah. And they called me and they said, "Yo, nigga, you really about they like they was for real." But they gave me time to explain because yeah, it's enough to get. We know you don't move like that. Yeah. I said, no, fam, it ain't me. It's uh, somebody acting like they're me. Yeah. It says, not me. But I meant to say that because when I got off the air, the guy that took the pictures was saying, yo, you always comment on the YouTube. I said, yo, that's not me. I should have said something. <laughs> I said, yo, I should have I said something, yo. That's hilarious. Because guess what? Sometimes I'm not going to have time to talk. Yeah, somebody yeah. going to try to see No, you're right. Weezy yeah. yeah. was ready to shoot. 
<laughs> you could have been talking out of turn. You never know. Right. Oh. But my point is, I, I, it's not me. And sometimes you ain't going to have that ability yeah, to talk to, to somebody you. quick enough to convince Man, them. Man, that's crazy. I, I never even thought about it because I've known TK for damn 20 it years. So how do we get rid of that? <laughs> you don't. Or well, you know, you can report it, I think, on YouTube. I tried to report it, like, for for years. And they go, <laughs> for years, yo. Man, this is so funny, Yo, man. for years I've been trying to. That is Because is is that dude going to get me hurt. Yeah, You see yeah. the young lady? I don't even know what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said something because of Nyla. It, no, it was still a good argument. Yeah, but, yeah, but see, I'm such a quiet person. I, there's certain women you don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with because yes. it could escalate. To yeah, a certain thing, and I stay away from stay that. Yeah. You, you know, you do good at keeping. I'm, I'm just that kind of guy. Avoid that kind of problem. <laughs> well, go back to the talking out of turn thing. We since we since we know that's not TK under the comments. No, I mean I think to say that you know you carry yourself with etiquette. I do think that speaking to women in a manner that at least makes them feel respected wouldn't be saying a comment like you're talking out of turn. What we didn't say is it seems not what you say is how you say it. I think you said it very rude. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Watch what I'm saying. It's not what you say is how you say it. How old are you? I'm 30. And how old are you? 26. Any woman over 35, 40 years old that I date to this day would never say what you're saying. And what let does me that prove have to do with what age has a lot to do with it. That's my point. Because they're more submissive. Our age difference has made a huge impact over the last 30, 40 years. There are women in this world who like a man who is strong, who's a leader, who doesn't really tell a person what to do, but they know that man has man qualities. I and agree. Masculinity is definitely leading. Yes, but, but I was not I, telling me to shut the fuck up nicely. But I didn't say <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> but I but I didn't say shut the fuck up. But it even talking even out been of more fitting for a podcast. No, 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 no. no. Here's turn, here's the thing with me. If I, if I to me, I'm a gentleman and I'll cut people off, but I'll say, excuse me, I wasn't finished with my thought. That's what I would normally say that but, I yeah but you that's how I normally say but, but, you, but, but I didn't say it like that right but it goes back to the earlier point like just because you say something and that's not your intent yes. you can't you can't tell them how to receive it right I you totally agree you know what I mean but that's why when we, before we got started before they all came to this I said you also have to have the ability to know when to fall back to understand that yeah, they yeah, have yeah, a yeah. point yeah. I, was, I see I, I, I said that earlier because I knew it would come to that yeah, so yeah, I yeah, want yeah. people to understand <laughs> yeah. see I, I I, I saw the room before it developed. It's like Tom Brady. You, you got to watch the you play. Saw the play. Yeah, I saw yeah, yeah, you got to watch the play develop. Them two linebackers are blitzing. I saw. Listen to me, man. Blitzing. I saw this before it even happened. You blitzed on. Before it even happened. Yeah. But it goes back, even to how young men today hustling. Uh, that girl to be on the phone or they counting money to make your moves and, and they girl hear the conversation. Oh, that's wrong, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this... No, it is. Yeah. No, it is. E, yo, E-40 nothing. used to say it all the day. E-40 had a rap. He had a line. He said, never tell a woman all your business because she might end up being an eyewitness. Yeah. That's, they, that's why they used to say, never let your right hand know what your left that's hand so is true. doing. Like, yeah. you put somebody in a position that they don't need to be in. Yeah. Yes. And, and I mean, not just that. You know, let's take know. the Godfather. You ever notice when they sat in the meetings... And the wires and the wires are new, but this is old school. These people ain't doing it today. They the wires will see that us three is talking. Mm -hmm. And they say another woman who understood, like, let's go to the other wing of the house so we could talk and drink. Because the men were going to talk. Not today. Women sitting right in that motherfucker <laughs> with you. But, but but I think that's a little different because not because the men are just talking, because the men are talking about illegal activities. Yes, you know what I'm saying. saying right. Men are talking about yes. business or something. Anyway. That's yes, right. right. That's like, what I meant. What they supposed That's to be what talking I mean. about, though. What do you mean? They're always supposed to be trying to grow and always try to talk business. But when in they get that era, like women weren't getting to the bag the way women are getting to the bag now. It's so. not about money right now. That's the that's the easy way that women go. They always want to bring the money in it. It's the what, illegal act. I'm talking about tradition, just how it was. But that doesn't. What I'm saying is just I'm in a different era. So you have to respect where I'm at too. I, like you, oh, now what exactly are you saying, TK? What I'm saying to her is, there's certain things you wouldn't say to your father, but your father's not my. I'm older than your dad, right? You older than my dad. Yeah. So your grandfather, how old your grandfather would be? Eighty. Yeah, I'm close to that age. <laughs> 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 so there's certain things you wouldn't say to your grandfather out of respect. But like what? But really, I can't explain that to you if you don't know what you would say. You wouldn't like, say to your grandfather. I can have a conversation with my grandfather, and he's gonna listen, and he's gonna respect. But but I'm that's what I'm saying. But there's certain things you wouldn't say to him or say around him. Am I correct? 
Um, like, like, say, give, give an example. Uh, if a female says she used profanity, and I me, I said, "Babe, I don't really think you should curse." She's like, oh, this is who I am. I can't, I can't stop cursing. I said, "Would you, would you curse around your grandmother? Would you curse around a pastor?" No, I definitely wouldn't curse around my grandmother. No. Yeah, and what would you curse around a pastor, a minister? This is interesting because T- I, TK, no, you, you TK is a, TK is sixty one years old. But he's in the entertainment business. So yes. I think sometimes when you're of a certain age and you're in the entertainment business, people may not look at you as an elder. So true. You know what I'm saying? And you're, you're not talking comedian. about the stuff I do on stage. Yeah, He doesn't yeah, yeah. comprehend that I'm talking about dating a woman 72 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it don't they don't comprehend. Don't yeah. Yeah, they don't get it because yeah, I, you yeah, know, yeah. I don't yeah. look my age now. If I look like Dick Gregory with a gray beard they get it all and day. fragile and I was on a cane, them jokes would go over By insane. the way, talking about an elder that's going to tell you shut the fuck up, Oh, yeah. God bless the dead. That's right. Dick Gregory was going to tell you, shut the he fuck up. He would tell you. I, 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 all the time. All the time. Man, man well, I don't know if he would do that to women, though. Yeah, he did. I seen him. But, he definitely used to do it to the men. What he I definitely love did about about this. No, what, what I love is really the gap. Like, I'm the, see, it's not about what we're saying. It's the gap that you really see how the world has really changed. Yeah. See, I see the way the world one way, and I'm on my way out. Like, like the older guys like me, we're on our way out. It's the younger People that speaking up, they see the world totally different in old fashioned ways, right? Yeah. And it's just life. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's changed for the better. I just think we gotta find like a happy medium. Cause I think that back in the day it was it was one way to a to an extreme. It, we, like it was a, it was very well here's toxic the wrong thing though, up. Charlemagne. We didn't realize the young men don't care. They don't got no more. So they're cold. disrespectful to the women. See, so you I can't think have we your were too. Yeah. No, no, no. We wasn't nah. this bad. Nah, we were. Oh, we no. Were. We, nah, we, were. we wasn't this bad. At least we had chivalry. We had chivalry, but we were still fucked up. Yeah, but, yeah. We, but it still we was toxic. better than what it is yeah, now. Morally, we was Woo! way better. A little now. bit. Come on. No, a I, little I, bit. I, I, Wax. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, the reason I say that is because we. I think our generation, we failed the generation coming up after us. You know what I mean? Because a lot of those young kids that we say are fucked up, they're fucked up because of the way that they were they watching beat us. us up. Yeah. You know what true. I mean? I they, think it's how you was raised. It's, I think I it's how you were raised. I think up, your hey, parents we, and your environment has a lot to do with it. We grew up in the bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks I, era. I was going to say, I think it's For both. real. Yeah, my parents are pastors of the church, man. <laughs> what I got to do with anything? And he came out the way he came out. That's what I'm saying. What I got to do with anything? I'm with him because he said all. Man, hey, we we grew. He said all depends. We grew up in a very misogynistic. Yeah, all depends when you was growing up. We grew up in a very misogynistic, toxic ass area, and we turned a lot of our trauma in the culture. And I think we was too extreme with it. That's why over the last few years, it's been a a big rebellion against that, rightfully so. But now it's gone too far this way. And we all got to meet in a happy meeting. I think it's a, a, a pot of gumbo. I think everybody's right. And putting a little stuff in there. Everybody, their journey. Because what's so beautiful about life is every all of us have a flight pattern, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And your flight took off from LaGuardia. Her flight took off from Newark Airport. He flew from Philadelphia. I flew from Atlanta. But all the information we accumulated and knowledge has led us to this room. So now you're expressing what your journey was. You, she's expressing her journey and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So we're all putting what we've experienced. But what we can't deny is your journey. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Your journey has taught you what to say. Which, yeah, so we're yeah. all right. I, yeah. I can't say you're wrong because of your journey. Yeah. I can't say you're wrong your journey. But what we have to do is be smart enough to take bits and pieces from each other. Because what I'm learned for the young ladies is to... Um, be more gentle. Yeah. More, have more empathy. But unless I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> on stage, that's my world. <laughs> on stage, that's my world. But yeah, 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 off yeah, stage, yeah, yeah. like if you know, I don't even curse when I'm off stage. Yeah. I never use profanity yeah. when I'm off stage. But yeah. when I get on stage, man, you going to get it. But when I'm off stage. You know, one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite things to do is let her hear shit that we grew up on. Woo. Because it's mind blowing to her. Yes. She can't believe how the shit that we used to rap about, talk right. about, comedy. Yes. Like Eddie Murphy couldn't do raw now. No. No. No, no way. <laughs> Come on. It's like man. PG, PG3. <laughs> Come on, Literally. man. Like, even, even something as simple as like 
Go back and listen to uh, go watch House Party and watch kids rapping the jail cell. Yes, my uh, God. Yes, they were <laughs> man. When you put it like that, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. man. But that's what I'm saying. How it's so, it's so, so different. It's very different. Yo, something as simple as watching a movie like Belly. Yeah. Why was Vita sixteen? Yeah. Oh yeah. There was no reason for that in the movie. No, that in there was no. That you was Which one? The NWA record. Oh my God! Now he yeah. you used to run with NWA. I, did, I started out with NWA. What was that song? Oh, uh, she They're swallowed it. About- she swallowed it. F the police. The song uh, when they talk about fucking the pastor's daughter. Right, I forgot the name of that song. I think it's she, she swallowed it. She was only sixteen. And Fourteen, actually. Right, right, yeah. Like but it goes back to Rick James. She was only seventeen, but she was sexy. I don't know what it is about artists and young women. I don't Using know them young mean. numbers, but that's my po- my point is yeah. like that's the type of stuff that was in the lexicon. That was the that's music. So that was the movies. It was just right. regular as fuck. Yes, you know what I mean. Regular that shit had so to right. get corrected, Joe. Yeah, you can't be mad. Well, we're when- done now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Man, <laughs> it's a wrap, bro. Reach everybody. Sure. Everybody got a voice. It's done. We done. <laughs> We are done. You hear me? Yeah, it's over. It's over, bro. You think it's over? Man, they... they but no, they, it's still a way to do what you do and what a Chappelle does. I, I, I hope that they get it, but when you see smashing grabs, when you see there's no etiquette, it's if not, you see man. you see nobody has common sense no more, you see yeah. that... Com- rappers are dying every day yep. like it's yeah, nothing okay we gotta take some blame for that I don't like care what nobody say the older generation has to take some blame for that cause you know what okay, happened explain. I'm I tell you, uh, what, what happened was we put out a lot of that shit into the atmosphere right even even, even before me when we first started loving hip hop hip hop music a lot of that energy was out there the celebration okay. of the gang culture celebration of the drug culture you know violence against women violence against each other it was all out there when a lot of brothers made that transition and grew and evolved, we didn't have those conversations about growing and evolving. Mm. And so it was a whole generation that watched people come up off of that shit. And those street guys, yeah. they was like, well, oh, shit, these motherfuckers is rapping about our lives. So I might as well get in the booth and start making music and shit too. They got in the booth, started making music and shit too. But their real life bled not just into the music but bled into the street so you don't believe in accountability yeah. accountability but who took it? we didn't take accountability is my point but what, what, what did we, we go didn't... through to make us even have them type of like ideas and doing the things that we was doing they had to come from trauma or what they that's my point place. we turned trauma into culture and we put that shit in music See, we put that shit in movies and we did not explain to the next generation let me tell you generation. why I'm gonna tell you a story to, right I'm gonna tell you a story everything we're saying in this room is right until you get in front of a judge that's when you realize it's right. No, watch what I'm about to tell you. See, when you hurt somebody and you go to court and the judge, depending on who she is or he, she'll say to you, um, you don't think you could have done this another way? See, because there's street laws, right? Then there's the law. That's right. Mm-hmm. And regardless of what we say on the streets, you got to hold yourself accountable because when you get to jail, in front of that judge, they go strictly by the book. It ain't no what society did to you. It ain't no this yeah, happened. You are responsible for your decision. Yeah. Even when you get to jail, all well, this is what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Nigga, talk out of turn in jail, motherfucker. Talking to you. And, and that you 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 do realize like so much of that stuff that we put out there was actually criminal. We wasn't telling these young boys that it was criminal. You're not missing my, what you're saying is right. Mm-hmm. Accountability. We, they don't want to, they don't care if your mother raped you. They don't care if your dad did something to you. When that judge is talking to you, they don't care about it. I'm telling you, they oh, don't no, care. I agree with you. They don't give a fuck about yeah, your they drama. they don't care. They don't care about yeah. your drama. But I'm just saying that we didn't hold ourselves accountable back then. But what I'm Nobody trying to say, told us we were wrong, so we didn't tell the next generation they was wrong. But what you're saying is right. So to the, to the young man that's driving his car right now, to the young lady whose son's in the back seat after the fool, what we want to share to them is if you hold yourself accountable, you can make better choices. See, because yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I'm trying that's, to say. Yeah, like, you. hold yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. accountable. That's, yeah, absolutely. So, because yeah. if nobody else absolutely. tells you, you know right from wrong. You know if you go in there and hurt but somebody. Do, you, you know, I, I agree with you 100%, but do you know right from wrong, though? Yeah, you, yeah, here's yeah, the you thing. Know. When we was younger, did we really no, know, no, man? No, yeah, we do. Uh, but here's the thing. While we run, you know what I'm saying? We know every. We ran because we were scared. We knew we didn't want to go to jail. Because we was wrong. 
if 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 you if if you if you were holding yourself accountable, you wouldn't have ran. But Charlemagne, what are you, you do, about? if you hold yourself about accountable, about you wouldn't have ran. Nobody's gonna do. That's my friend. point. Yes, but if you hold but yourself accountable, like you hold yourself accountable. Give me an example, right? I was watching um the young man who shot young dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh Lord! I when saw they that. came to court, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm gonna tell yeah. you what I felt. Yeah. And I saw the, I saw the cops in the room. And I saw the two young boys come in. I got hurt, yo. You know why I was hurt? Cause they were kids. Yeah. They have no that. idea what's going to happen to them. That's how we were. We didn't understand the consequences of our actions. If we did, we wouldn't have done ninety five percent of the shit we was doing. No, no, doing. no. We hit, our mothers was whooping our ass with belts. That didn't matter though. They were still whipping our ass. No, and we, we still was were doing high. bullshit. But it made a difference though. I, I, like yeah. shit, you get beat with extension cord. It made a difference though. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely got beat with an extension cord. I got beaten with extension cords. It yeah. made a difference, man. But what I want these young guys to hear: hold yourself accountable because you don't have a father no more. Yeah, right. You don't have that mother maybe anymore. But you got you. You got to look yourself in the mm -hmm. mirror every day. If you want something out of life, yeah. you got to look at you and 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 better yourself. Because like exactly. you said, ain't nobody going to tell you. That's my point. Ain't nobody going to tell right. you. So you got to, ladies and gentlemen, you got to tell yourself. Because when I hear people say life is too short, I don't believe life is too short. I believe life is long and you're going to be here That's a long right. time. That's right. And you want to uh, enjoy this as much as you can. Because words is powerful. So when you say life is short, to me, you take time off your life. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you got to start saying life is long. I'm not yeah, dealing with this bull. Mm -hmm. So I want young men and women to hold themselves accountable because what they are doing out here now is insane. And listen to your elders. Hey, Wilder. Because even back then, man, if you go back to the 90s, yes, sir. everything C. Dolores Tucker was saying was true. That's right. Yeah. Everything on, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan was saying yep, was true. It's they, so was, true. They, they was telling us yeah. about the, the destruction that we was putting in our music. They yeah. was telling us about the destruction we was and putting in our culture. They was telling us the truth. And and, here, and, you, and to take it to a white level to prove our point, Donald Trump to have the power that he had to get those people to attack the Capitol building, right, was off the false lie and the energy. Mm -hmm. And people believed it and actually went. Reacted off. They, they reacted and... I'm sitting here, us logical. Yeah. How the fuck you pull the y'all really believe this and just go attack the building? But people are influenced. And we all influence some kind of way, right? Yeah. We watch TV and see a nice shirt. Like, oh, I like that you shirt. You want that shirt? You see a person with a nice face. You influenced. Yeah. I was influenced. I wanted to a motherfucking. I went and got a 38 snub nose after I saw juice. Cause, cause that's the gun Pac had in juice. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're acting like this stuff didn't influence us. Yeah, it did, and know? I think it's a, again everything goes back to a comment in my generation, your generation, and if this is a sign of what's to come, to come like I was riding a, my scooter in my neighborhood, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm successful. I don't, I use an electric bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was going down the wrong way, of the street. Cop pulled me over, but I knew who he was, so we started talking, and uh, he's talking about how um, his kids grow up. I said, "You want your kids to be a cop?" He said, the way this world is going, he said, no. Damn. So he already sees what's about to happen in the next 10, 15, 20 years. It's going to be bad, man. It's going to be it's something gonna be else, bad. brother. It's going to be bad. It's, it's bad now, man. Yes. I, I me remember I was saying how we gonna, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get to a point where we're going to live in America. And you know how you go to certain parts of Africa, or certain parts of Mexico, you have to have armed, armed security, security with yes, you? Yes, yes. It don't matter if you're famous or not. Just right. You got a little bit of something. Yes. Yeah. You got to have it. That's how it's going to be in America. In America. Yeah, it's a man. And, and remember that security? Remember we was with we was with the homie and the security yeah, guard? Dude. Security guard said that security, this dude had just moved from central Mexico. He used to guard this Israeli family in central Mexico. Right. He moved to America because he was like, yo, every day was like war. You know what I mean? Like you just, we was protecting the family, but we knew anything could go down. And he was like, now I moved to America to get away from that, thinking I'm doing security for wow. these people. And he was like, right back at it. he's like, it feel like it's going back that way. He said, I see America going that way. Man. And he not, he not securing no gangster rappers and nothing right. like that. Nah. He's securing a, Great family that we all know that ain't into none of that shit. Right, right. But he knows that, man, especially, and he, they out there in L.A. Yeah, yeah. L.A. is insane. Home invasion is out of control. It's, it's they insane. All around, they all like, um, when I was out of town, some people tried to, uh, get, they was going to come rob my house, but the cameras came on. I saw them on, on the tape. But they, they were so bold, they went to the neighbor's house. <laughs> so you know, if the lights come on, you leave the area. 
Mm-hmm. They went to the neighbor's house. And see, and when they went on, I was on stage. I left my phone because I could see it on my phone. Mm-hmm. I left it. I left my phone. I went to perform. And then the, the housekeepers, the landscape people called me the next day. And say, hey, do you have Jimmy's number? I said, what happened? He said, he got somebody broke in this house. And I saw the camera. They had hoodies on and everything. And they was walking up my driveway. The lights came on. The dude just like and just went down and went to my, my man's house. But this goes to show you they don't care. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They don't care, they don't fuck. yo. It's crazy. They have dogs or something, man. Listen, T to the motherfucking K has to go, man. Uh, he's yes. going to be at the Scratch Factory yeah. uh, in Jersey all weekend. In, uh, all weekend. In, in, in New Brunswick, Mid- New Jersey. Yep, New Brunswick, Chinese Man Theater. Um, the 9th and 10th with me and Mike Epps in oh. Los Angeles, California. Catch me at Tommy T's, too, on the on the 16th of um, this month, February. And then if you're in Cleveland, Ohio, for the All-Star break, check me out the Improv, the world-famous Improv. I'm all over. And if you're in St. Thomas on the <laughs> April 23rd, make sure you check me. Just follow me on Instagram, TK underscore Kirkland. And shout out to Wax, the beautiful young lady, the great Charlemagne the God. Nyla. The young lady in Weezy. the back who was about to about to shoot me. The <laughs> gentleman who <laughs> got arrested over there with ASAP Rocky. That's to, Alex. To, <laughs> to my girl T. Hopefully she um, feels better. Um, then yesterday, and, she lying uh, you about being sick. She was. She was. No, she. I was on the phone with. Her. I could tell she was upset about something. What you? Oh, I knew you oh, were no, no, no. Her, her, her family got into a fight last weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You ain't see the shit in Golden Corral in Philly? <laughs> nah. <laughs> man, no, man. That's got, what I'm talking had, about. Oh no, for real. For Did you real. see about that? You read no, about I didn't that? See that? Over steak. Over yeah. steak. Amazing. They, they, they ran out of steak. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Six. And went to war. Went to war. Yeah. Forty Yo, this, people. Is, is the place where he gonna be at? This place where I had the restaurant across the street. That's yes, where you ran from the rat, <laughs> bro. That's where you what ran happened? from the rat. That's the same. The, the street, same comedy show when we went to go see Duval. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What happened? We you know, he's scared Duval. of mice. Okay, he's scared to death of rats. Wow, like phobia, Yo, like yeah. bad. They had us all the way in the back, and I seen something <laughs> go past. I took off. I don't even remember being outside. The same club. I'm you know the nice. You, it's a nice. Re- <laughs> Listen, it's a beautiful restaurant right by the Scratch Factory. Okay, it's a nice little restaurant. I think it's like an Italian spot yeah, or something. It's, it's right. We sitting in the back eating number white people. Right. Like. Imagine this big motherfucker right. just jumping up and yeah, running out of the restaurant. I'm gone, oh, man. Fuck that. Those white people look so goddamn scared. <laughs> Especially down there. It's no. pure white. I, but if you see me running, what you, you gonna do? Run, run. Too. Hey, I know there's a bunch of white people. Nobody motherfucking ran. Because white people don't understand that. It's like, what happened? What's it going no, on? No, white I'm people like, don't shit, do that. White man. people are like, what the fuck is going on? If white people will get shot, run, maybe, and then think of something. But this Golden Corral with the state thing, this overstate. Hold on. Watch the watch the white the white lady gonna push Taylor. She in the all black. Watch yo, the white lady push Taylor. Cheers, yo. Watch the white lady push Taylor. Here it come. Right there. See her with the hood on? Right. That's right. That's her with the hood on. That's her with the hood on. Yo, this is over steak, yo. Watch the white lady push Taylor. This is over steak, guy. Over steak. And here's another crazy thing that has happened in the world. Peter, all lies stop. Taylor, what's wrong with you? I, I, listen, no, listen I to like us. how y'all had each other back. But here's the other crazy you thing. We talk about how the world changed. As we was growing up, you never saw or heard anybody fly, fighting on the plane. Never. That's hell. No, you never do that. Yeah, at nah, the airport. That's a library, bro. Man, yeah, you don't do that yeah, because because yeah. it was always the thing they would, they'll ban you from the plane. Yeah. You go to federal jail. They Everybody don't was trying care, that. yo. No, they I'm with fighting you. in the sky. I'm with they you. get <laughs> flight attendants. <laughs> yo, they whooping I'm ass. Putting you to sleep, and uh, we'll figure it out when we. Yeah. Land. yeah. Nah, this might be a decoy. I ain't playing with you. If you mm. act up, as one drunk dude, I'm looking at. I'm like. Bro, do I look like somebody to fuck with, bro? Like, sit your dumb ass down. Right. Sleep. Oh, we was coming back from LA? Yeah, maybe that drunk motherfucker act like he's about to go to the um go to the guy, the fucking pilot. He was trying to go to the pilot. Man, you don't sit your stupid ass Thank down. Thank you. Oh, yo. I remember him. I thought you were talking about the dude when we was walking down the runway when we when we landed. And remember the dude was drunk? Which one? That was recently. That was like when we went to Andrew Andrew wedding. And the dude was drunk and he, he was started flirting with you and he's like, oh, you big. You big. He was, like, he was like, oh, let's wow. wrestle. He was like, let's wrestle. <laughs> right, right. Like, what the fuck? It, it, it's amazing man. how they say stuff. To me. Like, you're a man. You can't play with you like that. Yeah, how, how do the uh, TSA treat you? Um, Look, they, they the not fair down. to me. I do, I, I do TSA and clear. Me too. 
I got everything. But you look suspicious. Alright, whatever. Fuck it. If TK said it, I'm too old to be breathing like this, yo. I'm showing my age. T to the motherfucking K, man. Make sure. Love y'all, man. Appreciate you, brother. Love you, man. All right, let's pay some bills. Oh my god. Uh, two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both, all right? Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. Low-cost treatment start at just $10 per month and keeps offers generic versions. Discreet packaging and proven results. Keeps is more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. All right. Treatments can take four to six months to see results. So act fast. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to get your first month free. Keeps dot com slash idiots. And today's show is brought to you by Blue Chew. All right. This year it's time to get off the couch and get back into the bedroom. Blue Chew can help. All right, guys, we know that confidence can take you far in life. And when you feel confident, you're at your best, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Let's get back to the show. All right, we back. Uh, we got church announcements. Wax. Yes, man. February 5th, man. This Saturday. Saturday. We will be in Caveat in New York City, man. We got a bunch of games and got some special guests and all that. Y'all need to pull up. Go to Eventbrite and go to Bully and the Beast. Low tickets. You better help and get it right now. That's what T did just now said. So it's going to be a go movie. I got Nala DJing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only other guest we telling me. ain't telling y'all nothing else. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh we did? Oh, we got Trav Q. We got M. Measy out there. We got Dominica. What about Yamanika? Yamanika crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry. What Yamanika. about um, the tall she one? She's going to get me too. She always, she always get me anyway. I'm used to it. The tall one? And we got another special guest we're not telling y'all right now. So y'all don't want to miss this. And you can also live stream. You know what I'm saying? Go on the streaming service. It's all on uh, Eventbrite. Yeah, it's much cheaper too. So y'all can be at home smoking a blunt, chilling out, watching us. We're going to make sure we put on the show for y'all. Uh, go to your local dispensaries in L.A., um, you know, get that Who's Wax in the local dispensaries and go on whoswax.com and go get a subscription, man. Get the um, Who's Wax gummies. Everybody love them. Get your great sleep. Anxiety helps you out with that. And Who's Wax Airsoft. Get your podcast ready, man. We're going to start these podcast wars up soon. So go ahead and get your team and um, see what we got. Nyla, you got any church announcements? Um, just make sure if you're in the tri-state, you tune in to Power 105.1. I'm on covering 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I've been having a lot of fun, honestly, um, this past week. And I'm on again next week, too. So oh. just make sure y'all tap in. Um, go to blackeffect.com. Download all the Black Effect podcasts. Uh, make sure you scream the first season of The God's Honest Truth on Paramount+. Plus. Make sure you go buy Anita Kopak, Shallow Waters, and Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country. We built. Let's get back to the show. Oh, yes. Taylor's reminding me that um we got a lot of Black Effect hats. Salute to Mitchell and Ness. Mitchell and Ness is where, you know, is, is who make the Black Effect snapbacks. And um yeah, I just be giving them away. I just ordered a whole bunch of them. So if you want one, uh, hit up Taylor Gang, Fun Size T on Instagram. I don't think we got no more. We don't got no more hoodies and T-shirts left, right? small amount of those, but if you definitely want to snap back, I'll be giving those away all through Black History Month. So just hit up Taylor 
and uh, she'll send you a Black Effect snapback. It's really just that easy. All right. Um, I enjoyed our conversation with TK, man. The reason I enjoyed our conversation with TK, I've been knowing TK for like 20 something years. Um, and it's always interesting to me to talk to the OGs like that because he's 61. I'm 43, so he's damn near 20 years older than me. And then to bring in the dynamic of Wheezy and Nyla, that's 20, shit, 40 years younger than somebody like a TK, 20-something years younger than me. It's just interesting to hear all of those different, you know, conversations and, you know, how people receive things. And, you know, even to hear him when he was leaving, like, yo, I got to adjust. I got to adjust. I got to be more gentle when I'm, talking. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate those kind of conversations and I think those are the type of conversations that get us to a better understanding of each other. Him saying that is why I was saying that I think the conversation that Whoopi Goldberg was trying to have, conversations on religion and conversations that he was saying we shouldn't have, I think should be had because the more you learn about somebody and and how somebody feels about one way, like you learn to adjust like, okay, maybe there's something to it. And that, that's well, not, too much no, outrage, I'm not. Right? I'm not saying Whoopi's statement was correct, but he was saying that we shouldn't talk about politics or religion. And I'm saying that I think conversations should be had because the more you know, the more you learn, the more you like. You yeah, but we just got to be talking to people who know what the fuck they're talking about. The problem <laughs> now, that's that's really all it boils down to. The problem now is everybody's talking, yeah. whether it's podcast, whether it's social. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. But podcast, social media, radio, it's all of these platforms, and everybody's just talking. YouTube. It's not a lot of people who really know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, I, you know, we, we, we spend all day in the group chat. I just be frustrated at shit people be doing. Like I saw when Shade Room posted the other day the shit about first for black history. And they put oh, yeah. Kanye West, the wealthiest black man in history. He probably paid for that. But why would you? Yeah, <laughs> people run with that and believe yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. That was, so, that was a big topic everywhere in all the offices and everywhere. Barbershops, yeah. for sure. You a race man for Musa. You don't give credit to the richest black man in America now, Robert Smith, right? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Salute to my guy, Robert Smith. Yeah, you know, you, you don't talk about Oprah. Like, these. There's, we got black billionaires here in America that really have billions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not as billions like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates then, but it's just like, you know how many people you got to discredit to say Kanye West is the richest black man in America? And by the way, I know people think I be hating on Kanye, so they look at this like, say, go Charlamagne hating on him again. Yeah. No, it's just not factual yeah. <laughs> like, and people run with that shit and we, we we don't understand how stupid we be sounding repeating things like that what if you on motherfucking jeopardy and the and the question is he's hmm. the richest black man in america like kanye west kanye you say west. kanye west you, say kanye. you dumb fuck you know <laughs> what i'm saying no though that's what's being put out there that's my point like stuff, stuff like that is why I, I hate wrong information like Whoopi was just wrong but we're all around Her information, information was just wrong yeah. She wasn't, she, she, her information was just wrong. I don't think Whoopi was being malicious, but it's not my place to say. But, but can yeah. you get mad at for somebody because that's what they took of it? That's what, what do you mean? Took of it. So many people took certain things of whatever, anything. Yes, that's you what get, Whoopi took of it. No, you should never be mad at no, somebody for having the wrong information. It's just wrong information. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like I'm not mad at her for being wrong. But you she, know what I mean? You got suspended for a couple of weeks or something. You know what I'm saying? So. But that's because, like we, I always say, you can't tell somebody how to react. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You just can't do it. We can't say what's fair and what's not fair. I tell you that all the time. Wax old, Wax put hands on you, he going to OD. Uh, I've seen him do some stupid shit before. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He deserved it. <laughs> no, he didn't. Well, I mean, no, listen, I can't say that. I can't say what he deserved. Like you just now said, you might, you might slap me, I might shoot you. But that's my point. So you yeah. can't tell them that they overreacted by suspending <laughs> the whoopee for two weeks. Do I think it was right. yeah, overreaction? Yes. yes. But I wasn't the person offended. Yeah, you know what I mean. I wasn't the person she said that you to. A little overboard. Like, I, 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 how many times people done told you that? <laughs> well, it was only a blunt. Yeah, hey, it's still stealing. I looked at it something else. Like, See, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Over a blunt, <laughs> you stole from me, man. So you steal a blunt from me? What else you steal? That's a good point. So I stopped a being blunt. Tracks. That's I a good point. Tracks right now. Was it a blunt or was it weed? It was a, a blunt. It was not. It was a blunt. How much it's weed was it? Man, if it's a blunt, that's it was a blunt. It was it a girl or a guy? 
A g- what? Yeah, what are you talking about? Nyla? What are you talking about? Nyla, what type of nigga yeah. think we are? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I? What? <laughs> you talking about, I'm, talking about, just beat the, I'm talking about beating the shit out of somebody. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. I thought, oh, I didn't realize that he beat somebody up because they stole weed. I thought you guys were hypothetical. Oh, no, no, he, no, that was I didn't real. know this was a real no, thing. No, 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 no. Um, Things happen. You know what I'm saying? You just snip the <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> I tell you something else too. That Whoopi Goldberg thing, boy. That Whoopi Goldberg shit then made me forgot what Joe Rogan. What they even mad about Rogan for? Mm. I forgot what was oh, they mad yeah, about Rogan yeah. for. What was he? Oh, vaccine. What was it? Misinformation. He got the vaccine. Oh, I no. They that's stupid. And I'm gonna tell you why that's silly. If they're mad at Joe Rogan for having doctors on that spread misinformation. Then why are they not mad at CNN, MSNBC, I know, right? Fox News, and every other platform who had doctors on that spread information? All of these doctors that people look up to, the Fauci's, the Sanja Guptas, they all at one point have spread what we could call misinformation on, on these networks. Won't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, I, I, what those doctors said on Joe Rogan might turn out to be true in a month or so. We yeah, don't know. We don't know. But the only difference between uh, them and... Rogan and them and CNN is people just don't like Joe Rogan. That's what it really boils down to. And we need to start having those conversations. How some of this shit is just popularity contest. It's all about who you act, actually like it's in the, the moment. For messages. sure. And, and, and I also wonder if a lot of these people that are coming at Joe Rogan have actually listened to Joe Rogan. I've been listening to Joe Rogan for a long time. You can't listen to clips of something taken out of context and come to a whole conclusion about a person. Yeah. And I also think, I don't think people really even be listening. I really think they just be looking at reactions. I really feel yes, that. They want. I really feel people just yeah. be looking at reactions. They look and see what everybody else is thinking. Yeah. And if everybody else has an opinion on something, then they say, you know what? Those people are right without actually going to listen yeah. for themselves. How yeah. many times have you actually about heard something about issues. something? And then went to listen for for yourself and realized that's not even what yeah, the like, motherfuckers say. They wild out, yeah. The shit is silly. Like, really, they only go through the headlines. They read that headline. Don't even listen to the shit at all. At all. Uh, yeah, the shit. At all. Well, people aren't really taught to be like individual thinkers anymore. Like group thinking is the norm now. Group thinking is the is life. We're all social media is a is a is a whole that's platform a world. of group thinking. But I'm saying that's yeah. why people just be like, are people people don't like this person? Or I don't like this person either. It's almost like yes, natural to gravitate to that. Uh, and so. don't even know why. Yeah. Have no idea why you really truly don't like a person. I have to really digest a lot of a person's shit to say I don't like that individual. Yeah. And I really don't even come to that conclusion based off anything I see in entertainment. I come to that conclusion based off interactions. Yeah. Energy I've shared with a person. Mm -hmm. Because I know that once we get in front of these microphones, you know, some of it is performative. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm never, listen. I get you in trouble too. (laughs) One thing you need to know about me, Lenard McKelvey, I'm going to always be on the side of the broadcaster for the most part. (laughs) I'm going to always be on the side of the broadcaster. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand freedom of speech. But I also understand that people aren't, uh yeah, that Art. one time though I would disagree with you. Which one? Tell me. Um, that Ari Lennox one. I was on the side of the broadcaster. No, no, no. Let me take that back. I wasn't on any side in that situation. But what I wasn't going to do is go after that brother. Yeah. You know why I wouldn't go after that brother? Mac G, salute to Mac G. I wouldn't go after that brother because I was once him. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So instead of canceling him, let me give him some counsel. You know what I mean? That's respect. Let me let me let me hit him up and build with him. But definitely can't agree with how he went about that. He talked to her like Well They was what? homegirls or something. And he's a man. And like they're just too much. Let's discuss it. I felt like if it's in the music, it's fair game. Mm-hmm. The problem with Mac G went wrong is that wasn't even her lyric. The lyric wasn't, you know, um it's it's somebody fucking you good. The lyric was if 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 you love me, I'll fuck you good. That's the actual lyric in the song, Pop. So, number one, he had the lyric wrong. <laughs> number two, <laughs> no, no, misinformation. Misinformation. Yeah. Number two, yeah. even if you had the lyric right, wrong. to get into that conversation, you talk about the song first. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. that part. That's, that's the it. biggest yeah. issue. He didn't even bring it he up. No he just like, yeah, so somebody... It. That's like very <laughs> inappropriate. Somebody fucking you could... Wait, what? I wouldn't want to do... I wouldn't cancel all interviews, though. I think that was a bit extreme. By but. the way, and it's not my place to tell that man whether he was right or wrong, because what I think doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Ari thought it was wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's all that it boils down to. You know what I'm saying? Ari thought it was wrong. 
Are we? That's that's who matters in that situation. Not the people on social media, not the listeners of your podcast. If the person you're talking to is offended, was offended, then yeah. you know you got to make that right. And I saw him. He was on. He was on a uh, Van's podcast, um, Higher Learning, with uh with Rachel and Rachel Lindsay, and he apologized and he gave a sincere apology. I'm not mad at that brother, man. And the reason yeah. I'm not mad at that brother because I was once him. You know how much dumb shit I fucking said? Yo, of course a- y'all do because y'all remind me of it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Nah, there's a whole generation of people that I like that want to be little minion Charlemagnes and it's so yeah, sad to see. No, seriously, like I... I was interacting with some people and someone said some stupid ass shit and then they looked at me because they know we're affiliated and was like, you could tell I really look up to Charlemagne because, you know, I, I'm i like, nigga, that's not I cool. Know. Like, that's But that's what even, salute to Mac G, and, and they call him <laughs> the South African Charlemagne. They say oh, that God. in South Africa. That's how he, oh, wow. he got on my radar a long time ago because he would, I guess he would be saying stuff and I would always get tagged in it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, so this wasn't even my first time hearing of Mac G. So it's like, for me, man, it's like, yo. Hard questions are hard questions. Just, just know how to navigate it, though. He ain't navigate it right. You yeah. probably could have asked it. I feel like you're going to ask anything to people. Yeah. It's just how you how? say it, how tone. You do it. Like, yeah. That's what make you a how? professional. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But also, I was not... I don't, I don't know what the fuck I was doing, guys. I really don't. Like, it's not like I had a you plan for this shit. Healed. But I didn't have a plan for it. You know what I mean? We was just having fun. We was all trying to survive. We was just, you know, getting in front of these microphones and we were just living. By the way, now that you've been around us long enough to know. Yeah. It's us. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, we can't help Whatever it. Whatever version you getting us in front of these <laughs> microphones is us. Yes, yes, yes. I really don't know how to be. Now you really are a troll. It don't matter. 6 a.m., midnight, Christmas. Fucking yeah. birthdays, Something happened me to you. and boyfriends. <laughs> fucking, it could be anything. This nigga break is gonna up with somebody, bro, you, anything. Yo, you yo. just went through a breakup. Like this nigga does not give a fuck. Oh, but that's not the you point. You can be crying. Like the la- but, but yeah, we're but laughing, you can, we're a good but time. you can do that with no. people you know. Like you could do that with people you know. You can't do that with niggas you don't know. A lot of it. A lot of <laughs> it. A lot of it is a defense mechanism for me because sometimes. I be uncomfortable. Like certain, you, you know, you be around certain energy and you see somebody going through something. If I see somebody crying, I'm like. Oh shit! Why are they crying? So I'm. Yeah. I just so you're gonna make an inappropriate joke. This dude, at least I want them to laugh. <laughs> Something, you know what I mean? Not right now, man. Yeah, and the time would be bad, man. <laughs> Time and be yeah. bad, it does. I mean, we did that to somebody cry right in front of us, and we just laughed like, "I'm like, hear that shit, bro." Sometimes who, 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 it helps. Who? Remember Duval was talking crying at the. At oh the, no, that's Duval though. Anybody got no yeah, mercy yeah, for Duval? Yeah, yeah, got no time. Ain't got no time for that yeah, shit. These niggas start crying. Like, what the fuck? But, man, uh, but by the way, we're shit. all like that with each other. Yeah, yeah. Don't let me just cry. I've had some traumatic experiences and mm. broke down in front of them as grown men. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You he know exactly what I'm talking about. See that nigga cry. That's bad. See that, and that's why men. That shit ain't are funny, scared. man. That's so why you gotta be easy. And and what... Watch who you cry in front of. Right now, Michael Jordan cried, and his face is all over the world. <laughs> How fucked up is that? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't cry for that. No, I, wasn't, I was crying for a reason. I was crying for somebody, something somebody had did to me, man. But still, and I wasn't even crying. You know, I wasn't, the, I wasn't, the thing I wasn't is, crying, when you I was that, the thing is, when you and that is when you tell the story as to why you're sad, it don't be sounding like it's real. It sounds like you're trolling. Like, it sounds like you just you made that saying? shit up. It does. Who fault is that? Yo, you know that my fault. The kind of guy who crawled wolf all the time. Yeah, like, that shit does not sound real. You'd be like, like this. That shit My life was crazy. <laughs> what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> my life is crazy. That's why some people's life turns into a movie. Because yeah. my shit was crazy. Yeah. That shit was insane. Are you going to include that in the movie? No. Uh, you should. I'm never telling that you, story. You really should, though. Never. No way, Jose. <laughs> That shit was crazy. Yeah. All right? Oh my god! No, that Don't shit was cry. stupid. Easy, but whatever, man. Uh, we and all... you add into the story and shit. That was new this morning. No, that it wasn't. Edition you I added, bet you Wax has heard all that. that. That was a new edition. I, I bet never you heard Wax you say has that. heard all that. I know when you're lying because I know when you has some has some extra stuff. I mean, yeah, I that's what I'm saying. I heard I the extra sauce. Yeah, but you know the yeah, real story. Come on, we gotta know the story. No, we gotta know the story. I can't no, do it. Control. Real story, stupid. That's not the real story. <laughs> real story, yeah, stupid. It, it is the real story, but it had a little bit of sauce added, too. Yeah, that's what. I'm, but it's always but, like, this is some is. new shit. <laughs> that that Tupac in the tub shit is new. I ain't tell I you that. Never heard say that. No, I knew that though. Oh, he said that. You know, I'm saying I know yes. that this shit is really. I can't keep up with his lies. That's the problem. It's not a lie. I can't keep up with his lies. He's the guy. Yes, we can. <laughs> just, they they no, can speculate. No, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just know that, yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's do some asking idiots, man. <laughs> you don't do what woman? Oh, my God. Out of control. Once again, y'all keep treating me like I'm motherfucking Rafiki and the Lion King. Like, I don't be on here telling you how this shit is going to go in life. That's the problem with having clairvoyance and having a sixth sense. I be seeing shit, and the shit sounds crazy and silly until it actually it's happens. Really out of control. Headline. Woman opens up about being gang raped in the metaverse. Did we not have a whole discussion about Meta Me Too on this podcast yep. weeks ago? Yep. Yeah, I we did. Told yeah, y'all really that that shit was about to go down. It's wild. So when I tell you Wax gonna get his butt pinched in the metaverse, <laughs> <laughs> just know Wax gonna be able to fight in the metaverse. You, you gonna oh, look stupid? Man. How? How? You in the metaverse? You, I'm, I'm fighting the boxer. What are you talking about? I haven't looked at the story, but I don't even understand how that's like possible because they don't have the body. Don't be a out virtual. Yet, right? Don't be a virtual rape apologist. No, no, no. I just don't. I, how did it happen? <laughs> don't be a virtual rape apologist. Y'all already. You over here making y'all, up words. Uh, no, because y'all already. <laughs> Uh, and we was on talking about it today and somebody was like, take the glasses, just take the glasses off. No, no, no. But I'm supposed to, isn't it supposed to be full body suits? I heard. That's, I don't know. that's how, like, You're I think be able that, to feel everything. but they didn't come out yet. So that's why I'm confused as to how did it happen if she don't even got a suit. Wow. You sound like you asking her, what, what were you wearing? Why were no, you wearing that's that? that's not what, wow, don't wow. do that. You don't, are technically. No, I'm not like, why you have a suit on? Technically. You, you technically, you know, so you technically you're trying to figure out what she was I wearing to call that to happen. Because how do you get raped virtually? I don't, I'm not on there. I don't have the headsets. I don't know. Listen, you can definitely get harassed on there virtually. Yeah, you can definitely get harassed. Because it's, 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 you can talk. It's people you, talking to you. You can get harassed online. You can harass on the video games. People, you are, we're used to that. Remember what I told y'all? Y'all niggas going to jail. Sheesh. Okay, and it's but is be, it jail in real life or jail? Jail in real life because it's going to be like Minority Report where they lock you up for what you thought. Mm. And Minority Report, they used to lock you up for what you thought about doing. And if y'all thought that that saying it's the thought that counts meant something before, wait until that mother, wait until that shit happens. They're going to be locking people up for that shit, yo. They're going to be locking people up for, think oh. about if you, uh, if you're part of a hate group, right? You're somebody who hates the president or you're somebody who hates a religious group or you're somebody that hates a race. Imagine you and your cronies all together with y'all little avatars having meetings on in the metaverse yeah. about the people y'all hate and the things y'all want to do to these people. You're going to jail. Yeah, that's Instagram. People doing all that. They got groups in yeah. Facebook. Like, oh, that's true. Going to Facebook is jail. out of control that's with true. that type of shit, man. Like, don't fuck with cats. What was, that I, was, what was, I, what was I don't fuck with cats? It wasn't it started as a Facebook group? Some, oh. And they posted a video of somebody killing a cat and then the Facebook group got mad and like, they they tracked him down, the guy who was killing cats. Then he like skinned the cat or something. All right, this has nothing to do with anything. All right, come on, ask the idiot. <laughs> ask an idiot. Yes. What what we got, Taylor? Oh, I like this one. Set. No, go back up. Said, uh, said Jr. Said. said I don't know the fuck. Yeah. Said <laughs> Jr. Ninety one says. Do you guys realize your New York bias? When it comes to Jay Z versus Lil Wayne in the verses, I am from South Carolina, sir. Um, Nyla is from Germany. I'm from Germany. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Yes. Literally. Wax is from Jersey. I am. None of us are from New York. Um, well, I'm not from. I, I but... could say that I could. I was just more relatable to Hove. That's why. That's all. That's who I go after. I go to more relatable people. I give Lil Wayne his props all, all the day. time. All Lil day. Wayne is a whole Monster. legend. Yes. And we really don't even have discussions about Wayne the way that we should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, because we always look at him as an MC. But Little Wayne has done something that I admire. And I always say to me, this is a testament of your greatness. When you're truly great, when you're truly a legend, how many other legends can you breed? Mm. He gave us Nicki Minaj. Yep. He gave us Drake. Tiger had a good run too. Tiger's still a, a star, but when you give you when you give the game <laughs> to superstars. Forget superstars, because yeah. the word superstar just means like popular. When you give them two legends, two cultural musical yes. icons, For sure. to me, it puts you on a different level. Yeah. So to me, Wayne has done things that a lot of guys that we consider great, a lot of guys that we consider goats haven't done. Yeah. With that said, I respect Wayne on, on, in a lot of ways. He just ain't fucking with Hove when it comes to music. And Hove also has J. Cole. And Lil Wayne also has... Jay-Z lyrics tattooed on him. Like, ugh. you know what I'm saying? Like, uh. What like, you said, and Rihanna? No, Kanye. Oh, Kanye. I mean, you gotta give Kanye. Oh, I mean, yeah. Jay, Jay gets credit for Kanye, but you still gotta give that to yeah. Dame. But I mean, Jay has a lot of people. Jay got Memphis yeah. Bleak, Jay got Beanie Siegel, Jay got, 
you know, you can put Kanye under there. You can put um, J. Cole, Rihanna. Yeah. Uh, Cole, Rihanna, and Kanye, though, top three that really yeah. hit. Though, and those are, sup- those are super, super, super stars. stars. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same reason I, you know, I, I put, I rank Ye so high. Ye gave us a lot of stars. And great Ye gave us yeah. Cuddy, Big Sean, John Legend. Travis. He resurrected Common. He resurrected uh, Pusha T. When he didn't resurrect Pusha T, he introduced Pusha T as a solo artist. Yeah. Like, you got to give Kanye a lot of credit. You know what I mean? But when we talking about that versus 20 for 20, I just don't think Lil Wayne has a 20. Those just not the two I want to see Hove. together. No, though. that's not the one. I think, yeah, like, I, I think, I think Lil Wayne and T.I. is the one. And I think y'all need to stop fronting on Clifford Harris as well. We're not cl- we're not fronting on him. I mean, I like not Lil Wayne though. I think Lil Wayne. I don't think Lil Wayne either. You I don't like Ti. Wayne, I don't Ti. Ti got some dope shit. You know, I like a whole lot of Ti. Ti's in Ti's my top shit. seven. Damn, who would be good with Ti? Lil Wayne is like really up there with. I don't th- no. I don't think Wayne got a g- 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 got songs as good as Ti. Twenty records. I'm not trying to hear Wayne versus Ti either. Mm-mm. Y'all sleep on T.I. That's why I, I really need T.I. to do a verse. Nah, you fucking know. T.I. be dope with, um... Who Who's in that oh, era? Yeah, T.I. dope. That's T- that era was T.I., Wayne, and Jeezy. Jeezy, Ludacris. T.I., Ludacris, Nelly. T.I., Ludacris. T.I., Luda would have been good. T.I. Yeah. would have won that one, too. Yeah. Y'all really Charlie, sleep on T.I. Yo, listen, it's Charlotte. Like, it's Charlotte. Like, listen, like, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just going to name some songs from T.I. Live your life with Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Whatever you like. Whatever you like. Is good. Dead and Gone with Justin Timberlake. Mm-hmm. You're not even naming the good ones. I haven't. A$AP, that's my point. I haven't got to that. Rubber Band that, Man. That, think about like, you that's my like point. The bullshit radio they, keep joint. going. That's my point. Yeah, no, I ain't even great. got to bring them out yet. Yeah, I, I ain't even got out. the Rubber Band Man. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't even got the yeah. ASAP yet. Yeah. I ain't even got the What You Know About That. I ain't even got the You Might See Me in the Street, but nigga, you don't know me. Why y'all playing with him? What you do, Ti and Hov? I'm not gay. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, what? why would I do either one of those men? Well, would you? Yo, like, would you like to? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking would you about? Want to, would you want? I don't to know who Ti would go against. Who? Would you? Would you ever say Ti and Jay? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. There's nobody Ti can't go against in the verses. Yeah. Y'all are fronting. Y'all are I'm acting like Ti. Like y'all are acting like. I'm just saying, dope. like, what I want to see or what I'd be excited to hear. I'm not excited to see Ti. We ain't even, listen, we ain't even doing the hood shit like motivation. Nah, he got some. We ain't doing the hood shit, shit like stand up. But who's we a good opponent? Who's that music is retarded. Who's a good opponent? It ain't Wayne. I listen to the whole trap music. Like, this shit is fine. Trap music was classic. Yeah. I Look what I got. Those are, those are album cuts. I think it would have been him and Jeezy, honestly. That would have been fine. I think that it would have been, been T.I. That would have yeah, been a great one. That, that would have been a good one. Yeah. I'm just telling y'all, people be talking about T.I. Like, T.I. don't have bona fide smashes, bro. T.I.'s respected. Like, like, I like, know, like, like from, I'm Serious is a great album. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't bring that into this equation. You know what I mean? There's records on I'm Serious that I love, like Dope Boys in the Trap, you know, Still Ain't Forgave Myself. Um, pa- 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 uh, tell me, what's your name? Vizzy Papa, number one, shit like that. But let's start with trap music. From trap music to urban legend, the king, oh, the paper trail. Why are y'all playing with T.I.? You forgot oh, about Let's Get Away. Go. Hey, let's, let's get, get away. away. Yeah, get a room on, on the other side, side of town. <laughs> hey, baby, I've been thinking, thinking of you. you. Why y'all yeah, playing with Tim? I am That's sick fire. of this T.I. disrespect. I hate yeah, that it. That was a good yeah, one. The, so the, the yeah, T.I. disrespect fire. is maddening to me. Trap. There's a trap. That whole shit was just... That was, uh, that's what we grew up on. Yeah, yeah, who would it be? Man, I don't and, know. And, and, I think Jeezy. It should have been T.I. and Jeezy. T.I. and Jeezy would have been great, but they too, they too good of friends. T.I. and 50? T.I. and 50. I was just about to say that. Oh, but 50 don't. I don't. 50 got some. Come on. I don't know. I, I think that T.I. would win. fucked me up, too. I think T.I. would win. I think T.I. would win that. I do. 50 got some what, nice shit. It would be a, listen, that's actually, a, that's why when, when that was, when that conversation was happening and people was acting like it wouldn't even be close. I'm like, yo, are y'all crazy? I think the first 10 T.I. 50 would be really intense. Like, ooh, but because it's 20. 50, but, but 50 got some shit, though, because you got to think about all the stuff 50 wrote. So 50 going to bring in all them game records that he wrote. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Them, them, them shit he wrote, like, you know, so seductive. He on them hooks, them Lloyd Banker. Yeah. Like, 50's on a lot that's of true, shit. That's true, that's true. That would be a great, yeah, yeah, great yeah, yeah, yeah. versus. That is a good one, yeah. But another yeah. thing that, that's, that's dope about T.I.'s music is aged very, very well. well. 
I listen to that right 50s now. Fifties too, though. Yeah. Yeah. You still hear P A M P and get excited. You still hear yeah, Wayne yeah, get excited. Yeah, yeah, it brings yeah. you back yeah. in a good way. Yeah. 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 I got to but, but, but these young kids right now listen to it and, and still rock with it. People Hell yeah. Like 50 Cent, if for millennials, 50 All Cent day. is the rapper that put him into rap. People think I be tripping when I got T.I. in my top five, top seven. I got a top seven favorite rappers of all time. It's Ghostface Killer, Nasir Jones, Scarface, Nas. Jay-Z, Jeezy, T.I., and Killer Mike. I would I, still like a Nas one. A Nas one versus? Yeah. That's cool. I know I, nobody's I mad at that. Nobody wants to do that. How do you feel about Buster and Eminem? Buster will wash Eminem. That's just gonna be a lot of All energy. All you Eminem stands, <laughs> like Eminem stands hate Buster me different. online. Nah, Buster different. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of energy. Yeah. It Buster rhymes would wash. But do you Marshall think it's Mathers. all about performance? Because I don't think, Eminem I don't think clearly has the bigger record. Buster, Buster is different, bro. Eminem, let me. Let me well, uh, I think the demo matters too. No, that's but that's no, that's pretty much like the same era yeah. for the most part. That's when pretty much the same era for the yeah, most part. Yeah, definitely. yeah, that's the same era. Yeah, but I think by default, if it's the Common versus demo, they're not gonna they're gonna be Team Buster. The Common versus demo. What do you mean? Yeah, like like Eminem is massive and has so much success because he's a white rapper, including the white fans that he has. I don't know if mad white people are tuning in versus. But that ain't what versus is about. Versus is cultural, and that's what people need to realize. Versus is all. It's cultural. Us. It's us. That's why. That's lot. why. That's why Luda could beat a Nelly in a versus. You know what I'm saying? Because Luda got cultural records that he was playing against Nelly's big pop hits yeah, that bro. meant more to culture. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I, I love Nelly's joints, but Nelly yeah. is a big mainstream artist. Don't get me wrong. Luda had super success too. But when Luda plays shit like "Ho Ho," use a ho. That's our shit. That's mm-hmm. cultural shit. That. Nelly might not have nothing to fall. You know what I mean? No, I'm, Eminem is one of the yeah. greatest wow. rappers ever. Yeah. Most successful rapper ever by far, whether it's skin color or not, who gives a fuck. Most successful rapper. But man, Bustin' Rhymes versus Eminem, stop. <laughs> stop. Name twenty. Name the 20 Eminem songs he's going to play against Buster. I mean, I think when it gets to 20, Buster's going to have a hard time. How? Buster Rhymes has been around since leaders of the new school. Yeah, but Buster Rhymes, yeah, but no, but while. twenty hits though. Yes, like he has good songs, but twenty hits. Yes, yeah. Just name them. Buster, you name Ti's easy. Well, I had Hands to Google the song. Uh, but that's we don't even gotta go. Let's let's start with let's start with scenario. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Let's start with scenario. Let's start with tribe called quest. Oh my God. Let's go back to oh, things yeah. like features like flavor in your ear oh, remix. That is a good. You know one. what I'm saying. Let's go back to stuff like that. Like S3. we can, we ain't even get we ain't even got to him as a solo artist yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> before shit before we get to point. the features, him, him and motherfucking Rick James shit's fire, huh? Busta and Rick James got one. Yeah, Busta and Rick James got a fucking song. It's fire. You certain people you can't play with, and, and I and you I think just, it's gonna be more impactful than like an Eminem Rihanna joint. What Eminem Rihanna joint? Love Nobody want to hear that shit in the verse. Yeah. I'm not turning up to that though. What Motherfuckers be putting bloody right? knives in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> and like Stan, I, that, I was thinking too. Like Stan's one of his biggest records. Nobody's turning up to that either. Uh. But he does have ones I like. Like I like the D12 one. Yeah. These chicks don't oh, even yeah. know the name of my band. Like he has man. one. Please Yo, stand up, Buster man. Give me mm. another. One. Give me a, give me another one. What the hell is this? What? <laughs> Yo. What? Oh, I like this. Positive Peterson says, does Wax like to have his ass treated like a harmonica <laughs> as it is portrayed <laughs> by Charlo? He loves it, actually. Yeah. Who, who, whoever said that? <laughs> Remember, in the metaverse, everybody's supposed to be pinching your ass. Oh, what's a harmonica? Is it something you blow? Yeah. <laughs> it is, actually. So what pinching got to do with blowing? I don't know. Let's it, ask Carla. It don't matter what niggas going to do with that ass. Don't worry about what niggas doing with that ass in the metaverse. Okay, in the metaverse, that ass don't belong to you no more, okay? <laughs> All right? That metaverse ass going to be different for you, Wax. Niggas can't wait. As soon as you make your avatar. That's <laughs> all you made. Really? Hell yeah, my shit dope, too. What's the name? Um, it's going to be Wax King. Oh, yeah. It's on now. Don't what the hell? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta me, go meet this relative. Now we only do one more. We got. Uh, oh, okay, let's let's end with this. Nick Dominiki says, "How do you know when it's time to stop the side hustle and go all in on the dream?" Do it today. Huh? Yeah, you gotta follow your heart. Uh, 
I see. You might be broke. <laughs> you might be struggling. I'm waiting for more. That's, that's yeah, one. That's yeah. You might be broke. You might be struggling. But I feel like the more you do what's best for you, like what's in your heart, it all comes to you. Like as soon as I started, I mean, I'm young, whatever, but I'm going on a great track. But as soon as I started doing things that I wanted, even if it was a pay cut, like I remember I worked for free instead of taking a job that was going to pay me like 90000 but I did that, and now I'm like I'm wake up, and I'm happy with what I'm doing. Like when you're doing shit that doesn't make you happy, just to get by, just to maintain the life you think you need to maintain, you're really miserable. But when you do things that make you happy, like everything else comes. Like people, you meet people that make you happy. You like. Yeah, side hustle usually be the thing that you like. Yeah, do it today. You know the thing about dreams, and I, I, you know, I got a chapter in my first book called "Fuck Your Dreams If It's Not Your Dream," and that's basically saying like, you know, we see things working for other people. And so we embrace it and we act like it's our dream, but yeah, it's really yeah, not. Yeah. It's something that somebody else is doing. Mm-hmm. The thing about your dream, like the thing that, you know, really changes your life is that thing nobody can change your mind on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That thing that nobody can understand why you love it so much and it's not for and them to cheat understand. On you all he wants to. You ain't, you ain't going nowhere. What? Huh? What happened? <laughs> I said that a lot. Nah, you're getting on my fucking nerves. No, I'm just saying. It's like that thing that nobody can take from you, that thing that nobody can discourage you from, like that thing that you get up every day and you would do it for free if you had to. Like that's yeah. the dream that's going to ultimately, ultimately change your life. How did you just flip that into terrible relationship advice? How is that terrible you relationship just outdone advice? Yourself. I wasn't no advice. I was just saying like all these girls knowing that the man cheating on them, but they were not going to leave them no matter what they That's not true. Say. Hang on. Nothing to do with the dream. Lead that nigga, boo. Like, now he nervous. <laughs> Lead that nigga, boo. Yeah, but she, she don't care about your, what their friends say. They're gonna, still going to still be there. It's like, oh, he's talking about she's going to leave next year. Next week, you're going to see them together. You know what? It's something to that. You got to be stupid. <laughs> you really do got to be stupid about your dream. No, for real. You got to yeah. be stupid about your and, dream. But, but guess what? I bet you she, during holiday time, she's going to be there with the kids, grandkids, and they're going to grow old together. Maybe because of that. And the girl who say, I'm not taking that with nothing, might not be having great holidays. Let me expound on Wax Point. You might have a dude, right? And he might not be shit for that time. But you see something in him. Uh-huh. You see he got potential. You know he's not a bad dude. He just need to grow the fuck up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you might stick it out with him. And that guy might end up being the evolved human that you always wanted him to be. Yeah. I know or that he might me. not. Listen, I know I'm a. Re- I know <laughs> I'm, I know I'm a reform be. fuck. A lot boy. of niggas do not grow up Me though. Too. Well, I Me know too. I'm a reform fuck. I know boy. I am. I am a reform I fuck boy. I was a control. fuck boy. When I think yeah, about the shit, shit that I used to do and the shit that man, I was a fuck boy. And I know Wax was a fuck boy. No, yeah. no, but you know what? I can't really say a fuck boy. You was a fuck boy. No, no Wax, you're doing we great. We were fuck boys. Wax, Wax, so Wax admit it. We were fuck boys. Stop. No, why I can say that? Because I never lied. He's, he, that's a lie. <laughs> that is the lie that he always tells. And I knew he was going to say that. That's the lie he always tells. No, I why told, he make that yo, face? He turns to the I always cycle. told the truth. I, I had to lie to somebody. You don't think nobody knew who the fuck I was? Why he and, turns and, and, to the and side like this. that? Know how I know I couldn't lie? Because as soon as he see me with anybody, he right away say, you know here, ho. You know why? That's true. You do you know snitch. Why? You do snitch. When I, when I got out of my fuckboy phase and I was growing and evolving, boy, I was not. Yo, you I be, was you not, be like forcing people to step to the level you want. That's right, God. That's like, right. Like, yeah, that's he right. He getting mad at yo, me. That's right. Fuck, like, yo, you would have been there. But he's also younger than you, so you don't gotta. Not by much. His... Enough. <laughs> <laughs> I taught his ass that time. He called me, thinking I'm gonna have to be yeah, his wingman. Which... That was fucked <laughs> up. Thinking I'm gonna be his wingman. <laughs> Yo, I got this girl in the room, yo. Like, text me. I got this girl in the room. I need to get her out. I'm going to call you and act like we got to go somewhere. You got me. All right. Yeah. All right. Because you know why? Thank I answered the phone. I answered the phone. And I thought about lying. And God said to me, Teach us that's a you lesson. told me you want to change. No, God said to me, God said, you told me you wanted to change. God told me you wanted to do better. So you had to Prove make it. him do it. That's right. He know he's supposed to call. I me. said that's a lie. Stop doing that to that girl that you <laughs> with. No. That girl deserves oh, better. Like, Yo, we supposed to leave now? That yes. Is so, that is so terrible. For- <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like right, we don't. On, let's go. I'm like we don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> you need to do better. <laughs> All, right? All right, young lady, if you can hear me, you, you should want more for yourself. All right. Damn, Damn Charlotte. Charlotte. <laughs> Gotta go. Damn, <son. laughs> I had to call somebody No, else. but you, you are funny about that. Like, once 
Once you evolve past something, your tolerance for others around you, you be like... Unbelievable. You be mad at us. I be like, damn, nigga, you're on that path right now, not me. I, I'm oh still... I'm don't not judgmental court, with it. You're not judgmental, but oh you're like, you, you, you apply pressure. I Those are that. boundaries. You have to set... Here's the thing. You got to set boundaries with people you love. You help, me, you help me with the cheating shit. That's why one of the reasons I don't cheat. That's I mean, what I'm no saying. Way. So good. You are. You're doing great, man. Yeah. I'm but amazing yeah. now. But you got to set boundaries with people you love if you really love them. Because if you love people and you value the relationship, you don't cut people off. You don't push people away. You set boundaries so y'all all know how to navigate with each other. We all got rules and regulations with each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you have yeah. to learn that about the people in your life. Like, that's all. Man, if you don't say nothing to them, you don't give a fuck about them. You that's, just allow me to... There you go. Y'all allow me to do crack or start drinking a lot of liquor and stuff like that and don't come check on me and curse me out. That's like, right. Shut the fuck up. Like, you doing some dumb shit. And complain. We'd be complaining about you behind your back. Gossiping about you behind nah, your back. You don't. We don't care about nah, you if that's the case. Mm -hmm. At all. If you, ever, you got True that enough. nagging friend that always tell you about yourself and you know it's wrong, that's the one I really care salute, about. Salute to Dr. Nadra uh, to Wild. We about to get out of here, but salute to Dr. Nadra. Um... She's going to be on Breakfast Club soon, but she has a book called uh, Setting Boundaries, Finding Peace. Actually, where's my book bag at? My book bag over here? Hand me the book. Hand me the bag. I want y'all to get this. This is this is a very important book. There's two books that I recommend to everybody. It's the Unapologetic. You out in YLA? All right. Love you. Peace. See ya. You about to be bounce right now, but this book right here. I always recommend The Unapologetic Guide to Black Mental Health by Dr. Rita Walker. And I recommend this book, Nadra Glover Tawab, Set Boundaries, Find Peace, A Guide to Reclaiming Yourself. This book is so incredible. She's not on Black Privilege Publishing. She's already a New York Times bestseller. I just think this book is so dope and everybody needs to add it to their repertoire because we have to learn how to set boundaries yeah. in our motherfucking lives. All right. I got to go too. We got to go. We got another run to make. But as always, if you listen to this podcast, oh, make sure y'all go to the uh, Bully and the Beast live show this Saturday. Yes. Where is it at? At Caveat in New York City. Caveat at New York City. 7 p.m. Yes. Um, some limited tickets left. Yes. Limited tickets left. Go check out L'Oreal and Wax King um, and special guests this Saturday at the Caveat in New York City, 7 p.m., all right? As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>